hit start. And once there's a picture here. Should I say welcome to Susan's Fiber Shop tutorial? Yeah, go ahead and you're on. Welcome to Susan's Fiber Shop tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to work with a Snyder 45 spindle to spin and turn it into Navajo 3 ply yarn or chain ply. And I'll also give you a quick lesson on getting started starting a spindle. Here's a spindle with a hook on it. It's a Snyder 45. This is my fiber. I like to clip my fiber in my fingers like this so you can see it good. And then I hook in and pull back like this a little what looks like a bird's beak that's called a drafting zone and then you will turn like this turn like this and we have a leader started so that's how I started my leaders then when you get your leader started you can give it a circuit between your knees so we're spinning and parking then we do the drafting the drafting is where I catch it a little bit unroll it and then slide back and whenever I give one spin it allows me to move about four to six inches so I'll give another spin park it push it way down in your knees there tie it on to the bottom and we'll be ready to start our spinning I just secured on the bottom here okay here we go hook it up in give it a twirl and that's why it's called a drop spindle. Got to give it a little more twist before you start to pull it right away. So we all can make a few mistakes there. So you give it a twirl and then you pull out like this. These Snyder spindles, as you can see, keep on spinning and spinning and spinning. And then when you get ready to Navajo chain or to chain ply, you work your fiber up and a figure eight on your fingers. Then you hook and tie in a loop on, tie a loop. So you're going to have a loop that looks like this. You hook underneath your spindle and you're going to be turning it now in the opposite direction. And this is how you chain ply. You open up your index finger, go in, grab the fiber out and pull it about six inches up like this. Snap it off your fingers, hold on to it, and spin it in the opposite direction. When you have this looking like a 45 degree twist angle, take this off, wrap it up, and here's the little trick to doing this. You take this loop that I had and you loop it onto one of the arms of the spindle, like right over here. I've got that secured. You come back underneath the hook and keep on spinning. So it's a little confusing. Let's see if we can make it easier. Now there's two ways to learn to spin. If you're a regular spindler, you can just go like this and let it turn on and keep on twisting. If you have a hard time keeping it on twisting and drafting at the same time, you can do a spin and park. That gives you a chance to come up here and start drafting like this. And a drafting zone is what looks like a triangle. See, it looks like a triangle here. That's called a drafting zone. You pull it out and make it consistent and then slide the twist up. All of a sudden you will lose the twist. You need to spin it again, spin the twist, and then unhook this. I hope you can see this. You unhook this from here and continue on chain plying. Hold on to your loop by putting your finger in your loop, like that. Hook it under your hook, turn the opposite direction of which you spun the so we have a chain three ply there. You wrap it on. Wrap it on. When you wrap it on, you hook it into the loop here, like this. And go under the hook. 
and spin again. So that is how easy chain plying on a 45 spindle is. So remember you can twist, park and spin, and then move the twist up, or you can spin and twist and make the yarn. Then we walk the yarn up our fingers, come back here, unhook it from the hook, take it off the loop. See here, this loop? And then you can work it up as a chain and remember to put your finger in it to hold it. You hook it under the hook, reverse twist it, and wrap it onto your spine.